After the Soviet Union surprised the world with the successful launch and operation of Sputnik 1 in the fall of 1957, the US government scrambled to catch up. The Army Ballistic Missile Agency, responsible for launching the satellite on a modified Jupiter Redstone Intermediate Range Ballistic Missile, and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, an Army Caltech, California Institute of Technology facility near Pasadena, shared the goal of launching and operating a small satellite with a minimal, simple science payload. Explorer 1's scientific payload, the brainchild of the American space scientist James Van Allen, consisted of a cosmic ray counter, a micrometeoroid impact detector, and some temperature sensors. On January 31, 1958, the Cape Canaveral Missile Annex in Florida successfully launched America's first artificial satellite, the world's third, following Sputnik 2 in November 1957. Explorer 1 settled into a 115-minute elliptical orbit and operated its science instruments for over three and a half months before its batteries died. The satellite made the first major space science discovery, and the region of enhanced energetic particles in near-Earth space was named the Van Allen Radiation Belt in honor of the science team's leader. The success of Sputnik 1 caused some soul-searching within the US government, which had been embarrassed by the Soviet launch.